It's not just a YJL. So the, the front end conversion, which would be the YJL conversion, fits a two door JL, a JLU, which is the four door, and the JT. So it'll that's also right. fit the Gladiator. So any model Wrangler that you have that's 2018 or newer, yep. you know, any, any JL variant, it will fit from Sahara to Sport to Rubicon to JT, fits them all. Hey guys, I'm Liam and this is Jeep Sheep TV. I have a very special guest with me today. This is Greg Henderson of Unofficial Use Only. And we're here to ask him a couple of very specific questions about the YJL. Now, if you don't already know, social media was kind of taken by storm when Quadratech released a, this concept build that Greg built for them called the YJL, which merges a JL Wrangler with the first Wrangler, the YJ. Greg, just briefly, what is the YJL? So the YJL Sahara that Quadratech just unveiled, it's basically a, it's a throwback build. So Quadratech turned 30 years old this year, and for their 30th anniversary, they decided to employ me. So we took a brand new 2020 JL, and from that 2020 JL, I took a lot of the cues from a YJ. Footman lube, square headlights, bumperettes, license plate, you know, basically just a whole bunch of the, the original cues from a YJ and blended them into a JL. Um, and when I do things like that, I like it to look like they come from the factory. So, you know, essentially the vehicle almost looks like it comes from the factory. It really does. Social media is blown up over it. One thing that I've seen a lot on social media, um, aside from a lot of people saying that they love it, they love the grill, they love different things. Um, but I also noticed that there's a lot of comments where people say real Jeeps have round headlights. As true as that is, Jeeps do have round headlights. However, the very first Wrangler ever built had square headlights, the YJ, which that was the YJ. So for people that are saying all Wranglers have round headlights, it's not true because the very first Wrangler had square headlights. And that Wrangler is what really pushed Jeeps as we know them today into what they are today. What I think is so exciting, and especially when Chrysler took ownership of Jeep, I know they didn't design the YJ, but it was the first mm -hmm. Wrangler style Jeep that Chrysler ever got involved with. And it really is what started the Jeep culture we understand today. Yep. Because um, Jeep culture has been around for a long time, but it has exploded in the last, what, 30 years, right? Yeah. Since the YJ. And so really this grill takes, it's almost a symbol of success for the brand. To oh, 100%. Show that, you know, this is where you started. This was day one where Chrysler takes ownership of Jeep, not knowing what it's going to do for them. Yep. And now it is this huge following. And I'm so excited to see the YJL, but I'm more excited to see other YJLs. And with that, the question everyone's asking is, do you have any plans to take this grill and make it into a production item? Um, I do and I have. So last year I did another one for a different company called Steer Smarts, where they did a Gladiator, called it the Inlander, and we also did square headlights and marker lights in that one. Um, and when that first unveiled, there was a few questions, you know, would it, would it turn into an actual product? Uh, downfall is for me, um, I build prototypes. I build one of a kind and I use my hands. Um, I don't do computer work and stuff like that. So. During the process of building the YJL grill, I actually took it in after it was done and had it 3D scanned. And then I've employed the use of an engineer who's taken that 3D scan and turned it into a working model on the computer. Um, and I've even taken the steps where we've gone out and looked at a couple different job shops and companies that manufacture the mold so that you can create products. I'm, really, really close to pulling the trigger because of the amount of interest. However, there's the cost. And then the second thing, I really want to do it right. Um, I don't want to go to China and have it manufactured there. I want it manufactured in the USA. And I really want it manufactured in Michigan so that at any point in time, I can go QC the product, quality <laughs> control. Um, it's important. It's yeah, really important. I really want it to be a US product. It would be cheaper to do it overseas, but I want it here for those two reasons. Um, also, last but not least, I want to make sure that I'm not violating any trademarks. So Chrysler, or whatever the conglomerate's called today. Stellantis. Uh, yeah. Stellantis. So Jeep, um, 
they trademarked every grill. And this is a blend of two different grills. And I understand that it's, it deviates far enough for trademark laws, but I really want to make sure that Jeep says it's okay for me to manufacture an aftermarket grill that, or aftermarket front end conversion kit that people can put on their Jeep. Um, so, you know, Liam asked if we would do this and I said, yes, because it'd be really cool if maybe Jeep gets in touch with me or, you know, reaches out one way yeah. or another. Yeah. If enough people make noise and knock on their door, maybe they'll say, yeah, hey, it doesn't violate anything because it's, it's way more than, you know, I think it's 23% that you have to change and it's, it's much over that, but, um, you know, it'd be really interesting. Yeah. And that is so exciting and encouraging to hear that you've already done a lot of the legwork to create this grill. Yeah. But there is this one major roadblock. There's, there's a couple of major roadblocks. The yeah. major roadblock is the money. The second, you know, the trademark stuff with, with Jeep, I just want to do it right because I have such respect for the Jeep brand. That's right. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's angry grills and there's other things that have seven slots and they've got a frowny thing. Those are much closer to the original. This is deviated a lot more, but it's a nod to everything Jeep and to the original Wrangler. So it, it's something that I'd really like to produce. Yeah, it really is a nod to the Wrangler and a success of the Jeep culture. So guys, this is where you come in. This is a really, really important thing for you. What you're gonna need to do is one, throw your comments below, tell us, if you want to see why JL is on the road, if you don't have a JL, if you just want to see them on the road, that's enough uh, for the comments. If you have a JL yeah. and you're interested in buying one of these grills, and you just really want this to actually become a real product, tell us down below. But also, I want to be able to provide these comments to Greg when he talks with Jeep so he can show them and say, look at the Jeep community and how they are behind this project. They want to see unofficial use only producing this grill and not because unofficial use only is trying to, you know, take over Jeep, but more so nod to Jeep and the success that they've had in the community as a whole. Yeah. Secondly, put your comments down there, but then take this video and share it with your Jeep forums, your Jeep friends, uh, post it everywhere you can so that they can comment as well. We want to get as many people behind this project because I know I personally would love to see a bunch of YJLs on the road. I think it's a, just a great well, uh, and dynamic. just just yeah. a little thing. It's not just a YJL. So the the front end conversion, which would be the YJL conversion, fits a two door JL, a JLU, which is the four door, and the JT. So it'll that's also right. fit the Gladiator. So any model Wrangler that you have that's twenty eighteen or newer. Yep. You know, any, any JL variant, it will fit from Sahara to Sport to Rubicon to JT, fits them all. You know, the YJL is coming back for a little bit more for stage two. And this is just a little hint at some of the things that we're gonna do to it. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, guys, like I said before, you got to drop your comments below. I appreciate the like as well and share it with as many people as you can. We want to see the YJL grill in production with that unofficial use only stamp on the back, because if unofficial use only makes it, you know, it's made in America. It's employing American people and probably in Michigan as well. Super important that the Jeep brand remains an American icon and is fueled by American workers. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you on the trail.